Hi, welcome to my Super James channel. My name is SG. In the Hero Coliseum, there are often figures that are overlooked by other players, mainly because they are R's or SR's, but they are actually pretty decent, and I'm thinking of featuring a few pretty good SR's and R's over the next few weeks. So first up, Super Baby 2. So pulling skills on the top left and center at the front row. So basically he adds 500 to his attack each turn and plus 10% damage taken by all opponents on the field. And this is repeatable. So you can imagine that he's the opposite version of the Super Saiyan 4 Goku whereby Super Saiyan 4 Goku lowers the damage dealt by opponents by 10% each turn for all opponents on the field and it's repeatable. But for Super Baby 2, that's the opposite. He actually increases the damage taken by opponents on the field by 10% each turn and it's going to be increasing every turn by 10% and 10% and no URs in the game actually does that. They probably have Champa who increases the damage taken by 30% for that turn only but for this um, baby he actually increases damage and that is repeatable so if he's not on the field the opponent still take more damage if you 9 out of 9 his attack basically he has 6610 attack up front and you place on trigger square basically he will have close to 7100 attack at the start of the turn so that is a very very good attack and he low he increases damage taken by the opponents on the field for everyone so he is a very good SR I think he's actually on par with any URs that you can find around so before going online I decided to test the Super Baby against the Gudo Free Battle and I created a GT deck involving Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Vegeta and Goku as well as Super Android 17 so this deck is not really very fast but it has a lot of damage output so up front I put Baby on the top left and Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 on bottom left so normally Gudo's first lineup they don't really have a fast team so I can go first but if Vidal goes on the field, basically I will definitely go second. Yep, so this Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is really really good. He has really high damage output. And here, let's see what Baby can do. 7.9k attack. That's very very good attack. Yeah, uh, I have attack up front and ADM up front skills put onto him to maximize his damage output but that's really very good damage 7.9k for SR not many URs can even do that kind of damage so this turn uh, Fidel probably should be coming onto the field and I uh, want to protect baby so I just put Android 17 on the field so Android 17 is actually is also a very good figure. It lowers attack by 20% for any opponents at the front row. So uh, the main aim is to protect Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and also Super Saiyan 4 Goku to minimize the damage dealt to them so that we can survive and hopefully kill off two figures here. So if we look at it, um, yeah. Vegito should kill yeah, he should kill Super Saiyan not Super Saiyan and Droid 17 <laughs> yep and he lowers the damage dealt by Goku Blue ok and Vidal is dead with the counter Super Saiyan 4 Goku 1 Q Vegito. Yep, but the main threat is dead, which is Videl. So next turn I'll put 
Super Baby back onto the field. So Super Baby, as we have seen just now, he does pretty good damage. Yep, and I think that if I put him in a faster deck, he will work pretty well. This deck is rather slow, so I probably won't use this deck online because Super Baby is posed at the front row and if he goes second, he won't have enough health or defense to tank any attacks from any opponent. So I will probably need to redesign a new deck that is fast enough to go first to maximize the advantage that Baby gives us. Yeah, and for Baby itself, he he's on the field for a second time, so he increases the damage taken by the Super Saiyan Blue Goku by an, another 20% because I think first round he was already on the field. So that's the best advantage that he gives to the team. The damage taken by the opponents increases exponentially when they are on the field for a few times with Super Baby. 6k it's pretty decent damage and considering this Goku blue has close to 11 to 12k health you know, he's taken away half or rather three quarter of his health really yep so this baby is pretty good yep super saiyan 4 Goku here will just kill off probably help to kill off this blue Goku together with Gogeta Yeah, the only problem with Baby is really he can't really tank any attacks so he already has to go first as you see when anyone attacks him I think he's, he'll just be dead straight away because his health is only like 4000 and his defense like less than 1000 so he can't tank attacks that's the only weakness of this baby but if you use him in an attacking deck that's fast enough he has very very good attack and he really helps to boost the damage taken by the opponents uh, and this should be an easy kill here so Gogeta basically should do the job to destroy the blue Goku yeah I mean this first say this GT deck actually the only one who really has speed is actually and super enjoy 17 but he really doesn't have much attack unless probably use him as old one skill user which I will probably feature in a future video So we are hopping online against Divino Home, uh, who has Master Level 73, a uh, pretty high level player already. And we, have, we built a deck around future Gohan and Mira to boost the speed of the team. And I have Speed Vegito in the team as well, so the only attacking figures that I kept were Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta because he's very very powerful in his attack. And looking at the opponent, basically he has a, a pretty slow setup other than Future Gohan. Yep, the rest of them are pretty slow. And up front, I'll put Gohan at the back to ensure that we go first. Yep, we'll go first and probably kill off uh, Beerus. And actually, it's pretty good that Bro. Uh, no, Broly. It's pretty good that this baby is on the top left now. He's not being attacked by anyone and what he does is he increases the damage received by the opponent each turn and basically Piccolo, Beerus and Future Gohan they will get additional 10% damage taken when we attack them. And that's the good thing about that. You know, 
that's repeatable. So next turn, when I put baby on the field again, that's additional 20% damage taken by the opponents. And yeah, we should go first because my future goal. Yep, I have 12k speed and mm, uh, uh, Turkey on a one. Oh shit, I'm going second. I told the 190 because I think that's going to be all the 190 speed multipliers. And I think Vegito, uh, well, Vegeta bites the dust. I didn't expect to go second actually. Uh, well, he's a very good attacking figure, but uh, I didn't expect to go second in this case. And Beerus, I would definitely finish him off. Yeah, Piccolo won't do much damage. Uh, it's just a waste. And that's one thing why I have Future Gohan on the team. So, you know, although very Vegeta dies because of attack, everyone's attack is both by 500 because of Future Gohan. Uh, okay, 1k plus damage is not too bad for Future Gohan with Piccolo on the field. Yep, Baby does 2.4k damage. So imagine if Piccolo wasn't on the field, he would have done close to 7 plus k damage. And that's really very crazy, considering he's just a SR. Okay, next turn, let's shift baby to the center. Bring in... Um, let's bring in Vegito. And probably bring in Mira. Uh, okay, let's put Vegito down at the bottom right. Uh, I'm not too sure whether the baby will kill Piccolo, but even if he doesn't, he will he will do, do sufficient damage. And you know we have Mira and Vegito boosting the output damage by a further forty percent for baby to to attack this um, Piccolo. Yep, and we are going first now. Mm. Yep, future Gohan will be dead this turn and the only thing is whether we can get a counter to kill off Piccolo Yep, Vegito is really high attack It's close to 8 plus K Attack now. Okay, the main one will be baby. Whether can you keep Piccolo? Okay, counter. Whoa! He doesn't even need a counter. That's 10k damage to a Piccolo. Oh, that's pretty crazy. I didn't expect that at all. Okay, Beerus will do. Quite a decent amount of damage. It's close to 10k, 9k. Uh, yep, but I should still have this in the bag. And he has Broly now, but he has no one to protect Broly. And a very high attack Jiren. So let's do 3 across. At the bot. Okay, Beerus basically will be dead. He has been on the field for 3 turns, so he's taking an additional 30% damage due to this Super Baby. And all in with Vegito and Mira boosting the damage output, he's probably going to take it close to 70% more damage. Um, and we'll basically go first because Brody is too slow. Beerus is very slow. <laughs> so basically I'll go ahead and the only thing that we'll see is what will be the damage output given by Baby and 
Super Veggie too. Okay, let's take the counter. So next turn he will only have Jiren. And basically I just need to put three across the field and it's a guaranteed win for me. Wow. 12.5k damage. And I just wonder how much would this be? 13.5k damage. He does attack. Damage higher than Super Vegito. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Can you imagine an SR hitting more damage than a Super Saiyan Vegito? It's crazy. <laughs> What's the attack now of this baby? Give you a bow. It's pretty high now. It's close to 8k, 8.2k next turn you'll have 8.7 and Jiren is lower than him so let's give baby the ultimate attack. Yep, I think even if he touch wood he goes first I don't think he'll kill my master. Uh, unless he gets counter but I think I should go first. Yep, you don't really have to see. Yep, I think it's GG for you. Divino Home. Shout out to you for staying in the game. And you get your spirit bomb, but I think I should still go first. If not, I'm dead. <laughs> I hope I'm, I don't get shafted. Okay, let's take the 280. Okay. So let's take a look at Super Baby's ultimate attack. I think it's called Revenge Death Ball. Hmm. That's a pretty cool ultimate. Yep. And GG mate. So we can see from here that Super Baby 2 actually is a very good attacking figure, considering that if you can do more damage than Super Veggie 2. I don't think there's anything further to say, correct? So I hope the video was enjoyable for you. Do hit the like button and come back for more Hero Colosseum content by subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you soon. Ciao!